Harry Charles Collectibles. This is Mary. May I help you? Okay, well, thank you very much for calling. You have a good day. The Mitchell Estate called, and you guys have a pick today. Hi, I'm Dawn. And I'm Kelly. And we are the owners and brains behind Carriage House Collectibles. We find your old things, then repurpose them into new and exciting treasures. There's a fox in every bottle. There's a memory in every glass. What a gorgeous day for a pick. Okay. Well, it certainly has potential. Yeah, with everything that's okay. in the front yard. Hi, hello. Jennifer. Yeah, hi. Kelly, Don. And yeah. I have a you, bunch of stuff yeah. for you guys. To We're so excited. Yeah. Well, listen, let's get started. Probably one of my favorite things that I found at Jennifer's was the squirt gumball machine. Growing up as a kid, we would go into the Coke machine at the nursery and get squirt in the bottles. Oh, is there cool. any way you'd let this go? It was so clean and so pristine. I Dawn, come look. You've got to see this Poor general logo. store, too. Look at it. Look at it. It's, oh, how cool. It's perpetual income for the store. Yeah. But those aren't gumballs, though. Because the gumballs eventually get sugar, sugar in there and, and it yeah. builds a mechanism, so I put toys. Every kid will come in and put in a quarter and get a rubber ball, and so it's perpetual It's perpetual uh, income. Well, you know how nostalgic I get about anything from the nursery. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I what, what kind of pricing do you have on it? It's a nice restoration. Right. I would like 75 for it. It'll pay for itself. You know what? I think that's fair. I think that's more than fair. We pay rent on every inch of this place, so every inch has to be has to be used. So that gumball machine can spin off its own income. Rubber toys. You know what? I, I don't think I've actually ever seen. Oh my gosh, oh. Don, look at this. The horses are rubber, the mm -hmm. tools are rubber. Look at this. Feel these. I know. They're rubber. I played with toys like this at my grandmother's house. And my dad was born in 41, uh, right after the Pearl Harbor bombing. And again, the metal, like you said, the, I never knew that, I just thought they quit making toys. Yeah, the only metal they used was for the, uh, for the, the axles. The actual, mm -hmm. oh wow. To put the wheels on. During pre-World War II, because the um, Army, the Navy, everybody needed metal to continue the fight, they started making the toys out of rubber. So are, are you looking maybe to downsize your rubber collection there? Uh, honestly, going through my head, how much of this can I buy and how much of this can I get out of here? I would like to get some of those if we possibly can. Yeah. I think they'd be great. And I think we could get together at a later date after I ponder it a little bit. It was part of my dad's collection. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Coming from a, a family of collectors, my dad's hardcore like your dad. It just gives you a great sense of being close to them. This is what he wanted to do yeah. with it, and then yeah. he passed away. So I've been pulling it out of the boxes. Touch anything. Okay. So back to this okay. little guy. This little guy, right? This little guy had it up in the tunnel mansion on the third floor. But in it, it's a letter from the person who loved it. Even though time. the name Sherry appears on the bottom, this one room schoolhouse desk was also used by Rebecca May Ayers in the early 1890s, Greenleaf, Kansas. Oh, look at him. Oh, and you know, I'm a doll freak and a bear freak. Oh, are you? I like I'm the bell bear. hair bears. Isn't that well great? Loved. Well loved. Well loved. Wow, Jennifer, is this something you'd let go? Yeah. And. What is your price on it? Can I upscale it? And can I make money off of it? I like to make money. I do 200. Um, wow, Beautiful. 200, that's... I wouldn't touch it the way it looks. Yeah, no, no, you've got the provenance and that, that is a big part of the price, so. Here's, here's my, I don't have any concerns. I think it's good. You? Okay, all right. I know, I know you like the screaming deal, but there's provenance. And 
that is what it's all about. Oliver Property Management, a second-generation family-owned business started in 1969 by the father. Now run by his twin daughters, Kathy and Jennifer. Oliver Property Management has been in business for over 50 years. Hometown service with world-class knowledge. Visit OliverPM.com. Jennifer, can we come back to the... Um, the the merchant's table the here. Cabinet. Yeah, it's from the 1800s. Oh, wow. What do you think? I, I mean, I think the store could use a, just one stunning piece like this. Jennifer, is this something you're willing to... Um... It was really nice wood. It's not your usual oak. It was almost like a tiger eye type of wood, and I really liked it, so I kind of want to get my hands on it and start working with it. Okay, I'm going to let Dawn take the lead since she's our wood person. I'm not a wood person. Yeah. I leave so, it all the same. I like the patina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you like the patina, but the staining on that wood, it's it's. Well, just you know, I look at that as being something from the early 1900s. A lot of the, the piece, like the one I was looking at, it had um, a water ring on it. It also had a lot of nicks in it. I, well, and the water ring here. Well, that's that just, yeah. yeah so, that. no, it, it just detracts, <laughs> it detracts from the beauty of the piece. Okay. So I really, really need to go down to at least 2,500. I really like the piece. Mm -hmm. And I think 2500 is too low. Okay. It had black on it. That could be mold. It could be ink. I don't know. Can you come up? We're about 2850. I like 2850. You can strip it but most of the time you have to get really deep into the wood, so sometimes you have to put it through a planer, and that is very labor intensive. How about 26? Hmm. How about that for a second? I would do 27. Okay, 26.50. Hmm. Let's flip for it. Oh, <laughs> you got a quarter? I don't, it's in rock, there. Rock, paper, scissors, guys. Okay, let's rock, paper, scissors. I win! Ta-da! Okay. Right. Um, you never know. Oh, it's beautiful, though, Don. <laughs> I'm glad you, uh, you know what, you did a good thing. Bears to cherish, creating one-of-a-kind keepsakes from any clothing you provide. From grandma's gowns to uniforms, honoring losses, preserving memories bears to cherish.com oh god this is cute you love it already i'll have you come around and you've got yourself a great sturdy table for for just about anything your imagination could come over.